Hi and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, planting herbs and spinach in um, window boxes. So again, um, I have my, my beds over here for, for my veg and, and fruit and stuff like that, but I'm going to put the likes of the herbs. Um, certainly start, I'm going to plant oregano, which I will probably move into some, some of my flower beds actually after that because they're, they're good for flowering, good for pollinators as well. Uh, coriander, coriander we will use ourselves. Um, and the parsley I'm sure we will use ourselves as well and then the spinach I'm going to uh, the Missouri F1 is the type I'm going to grow um, I'm actually going to just use it for the baby leaf so I'm going to pick it as it grows I grow plenty of plants along here and just pick a few from each plant as we go so it's not to and then it will re replenish as, as we go so again you're not having to replant new plants all the time um, so again it's a fairly straightforward mix uh, with, with any of these so I'm going to place the seed along the top cover with a bit of compost and then just water them in um, so we're going to start with the spinach here so again we have the oh, as I said always you know it's important to label so spinach Missouri F1 and the date not quite for here but 26 to the 5th 20 so and um, you know exactly when you planted it and again use the seed pack as a reference then as to when you're expecting germination I think within these you're looking at uh, you know one to two weeks really for, 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 for them to come up through the soil so again there's a seed for the spinach they look a bit stone like you know if you drop them into a bunch of pebbles good luck finding them um, so again, I'm going to do the placings fairly close together actually, so um, as I said, because I'm going to leave it as a as a baby plant, that I don't need to space them out, if I wanted to grow them, grow them to adult size, um, I would need a lot more space in between them, but again, they can always be thinned out as they grow anyway, so it's not overly important again, any lumps like that that you do come across in the compost, just take out they do stop germination if they get on top of the seed or whatever. Um, I may have too many seeds here, but not to worry, you can pop them back in the packet if you don't need them. And when we put, let's talk about putting a scattering of compost over them, not too many, not too too deep either. You just uh, you want to cover that seed, you know, that the temperatures have warmed up as well, so you don't need to bury them too deep in terms of for, for a warm kind of that. That's close enough to the edge. Um, and again, we have some excess seeds left over. So we'll just scatter a bit over the, over the top. Important to pick out any lumps as you go, so that you don't cover over any of the seeds, but any larger lumps, sometimes you will get harder lumps or sometimes pebbles for some reason in the compost, which is not ideal. And the compost I'm using here is just a multi-purpose uh, with John Inns mixed in. Um, so again, it's perfectly fine for growing any of your seedlings. So again, that's your label. Uh, stick your, your or sorry, that's your, your thing done. Stick your label in. I'll give them a little water in a second once they have the rest of the, the seeds done. So I have these handily marked out here. So again, we're going to start with parsley. I might only do maybe four, four parsley plants. I'd say I have a lot of seed there, but again, um, that's how I might even plant two together and then maybe thin them out. So again, I'll do it the same as I did the, the spinach. So again, I'm just laying them, laying them, laying them onto the soil. Um, so I'm putting down eight, but. Let's see how they do. There's three gone in there, but um, you get you get maybe a thousand seeds in the packet, so I wouldn't worry too much if you lose one or two. Now, the oregano is an absolute nightmare seed to work with because it's so small. It's uh, you know it's absolutely minuscule. Um, so in terms of you'd, you'd be absolutely forgiven for putting down more than what you intend to put down. Um, so again, I can really just put down a scattering of them because um, otherwise, so I ha I'll have a general idea of where they are, but I won't really know until they germinate. Um, and again, for the size that the plant grows, you know, the seed really belies what you're getting from them. So again, we'll say cut off point up to here. Um, I could put oregano there, and I put parsley there. 
Um, so I think I'll draw a line there roughly, I think is where, where, as far as I went up to. And then your coriander. Uh, again, lovely, lovely plant. We use it a lot ourselves, so again, it's one that will get used here in, in, the, in the household. Oh, we've had a, an escapee there. So again, I'm planting these closer along together because I probably will actually pot them on further as well into their own individual pots once they do germinate. And then I can reuse these tubs for growing other, other bits and bobs along the way. So again, fairly straightforward. There's no, there's nothing, nothing too technical about planting any of these. Um, and again, same process. We're just putting a layer of compost over. Again, take it. Any, any lumps you come across. coriander label in there. So there you have it. All that's left to do now is give them a bit of a water. So we have our spinach and our herbs. And again I have a rose in the water. I can always use a rose when you're watering any of your seedlings in like that. If you just do it straight, you end up just in the seed. So again, that's all they need because the compost underneath has already been wet. Um, so now I might just take you through the, the veg patch here that we put in a couple of weeks back. So this is the, the bed that we put in. It's a maybe three or maybe four or five weeks, but it's hard to keep track of time at the moment and uh, this is the rhubarb it's absolutely flying I've taken a couple of stalks off it already for use and you can see there's plenty of growth coming on the on the crown there and plenty of new stalks coming on so I'm uh, really happy with that um, it's absolutely flying it uh, it's had a couple of feeds now as well along the way so that has helped um, strawberry plants are doing great as well let's see if a couple of ones starting to ripen up here and one towards the back there I have it netted obviously because the last time I grew strawberries, the birds helped themselves and had a feast. Um, and I've put straw underneath the plants as well, just because it helps keep the strawberries off the ground when the soil is wet. Sometimes it can the strawberries can rot if they're not up a little bit off the ground, and the straw helps to do that. And also helps to keep moisture uh, in and around the base of the strawberry plants as well, so you don't have to keep continually water them. Um, just moving along, then we have our marigolds coming up nicely here. Our companion plants that are going to. Hopefully help keep away a few pests along the way. Um, our radishes are absolutely flying it. I actually dropped a bunch of turnip seeds uh, when I was planting these guys. I didn't realise it but they'd poured out on so I have to transplant these in around here somewhere. Um, you can see the carrots are coming on. Great, a couple of stray ones but you'll always get that. They're such a small seed as well. Um, and also the lettuce, they're absolutely flying it. Uh, so, delighted with how everything is coming on. I suppose the warm weather has been fantastic. And then, um, uh, the wind nearly scuppered a few of my plants there at the weekend, but... And then we have the kale. And a few more marigold plants. And I have a couple of smaller potato plants that... Actually, I had used compost for other plants um, that I'd used for potatoes last year, and these guys actually started sprouting up through it, so... Um, I just dug them out and I've thrown them in there, and we'll see what happens with them. Um, so that's kind of the progress of the vegetable bed and the fruit bed so far. So really happy with how everything's coming on. So all good. Um, so look, we'll keep an eye on those the spinach and the herbs and how they're going on, and uh, we'll keep an eye on this veg patch as well. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Bye.